Girl. Oh. Baby, go back in the bed. Baby, go back in the bed. Tell me why you have to go and make things so complicated. Hi, dolls. Hey, dolls, what's up? And welcome back to another Fragrance Friday. My name is Z, and I love to do tons of fun feminine content on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, please be sure to press the subscribe button below. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All of my social medias will be sprinkled in the description box below. So now you dolls know everything you need to know. Let's go ahead and hop into the video. You guys requested and I freaking delivered. Today we are going to be reviewing Kylie Jenner's Cosmic Perfume, you guys. Now. Now, 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 now. You guys, I'm so excited to try this out. I'm really interested to know what her style is like in terms of fragrance. I'm not entirely sure when her fragrance dropped, but I know, it, I wanna say it was like maybe a few weeks ago when it first originally dropped. And I have been trying to get my hands on this, but for some reason, my Ulta gets everything in like super, super last minute. Like I had to hunt for a cloud pink like it came in so late so i've been calling every day and asking them if they had it in stock and they didn't have it in stock and i didn't want to pay for shipping but i went ahead and bit the bullet and i actually ordered the one ounce off of ulta.com and i did have some points but i do want to let you dolls know if you have points at ulta just a tip and you're gonna purchase something you're not sure if you're gonna return or not don't use your points because if you use your points you actually don't get them back like they're just gone so I did have points but I decided to save them for something I was sure that I wanted to keep because I am not sure about this I didn't get to smell this in the store although most of my fragrance reviews are blind by so I don't smell them anyway before I purchase them but because of that I wasn't sure that I was gonna love this and I'm not sure I'm gonna want to keep it so I decided to just keep my points now also shipping is pretty quick so it did get to me like in probably I think like four days and the shipping for me was free I'm not entirely sure why I don't know if there was some type of reward system on my account I'm not entirely sure but for some reason the shipping did come free also if you're interested Ulta does offer after pay I believe so you can make payments on it if you don't want to buy it up front and you're not sure if you're gonna love it so just a tip for you dolls who's trying to save some coins in this super expensive world right now. I believe this is Kylie Jenner's first perfume. I wanna say Kim has a fragrance, or she had a fragrance, but I'm not entirely sure about that. You dolls can comment below and correct me. But I believe this is her, Kylie's first fragrance. So I'm really interested to see her style as a fragrance designer versus like beauty care and stuff like that. I also just wanna say I'm a huge, huge fan of the Kardashian, those women, mad props and respect for them for building their brand and their business especially that mom like ooh. and I know the Kardashians kind of a controversial topic in some ways not everything they do people agree with and even though you might not agree with what they did they did become successful all on their own they did build themselves up however they did it I have to respect the grind and the hustle as business boss women. So I respect them for that. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing and everything for this. I also gonna go ahead and read the description off for you guys. I am on Kylie's website. Also, FYI, Kylie does not accept uh, returns or exchanges so if you purchase this fr fragrance on her website just know you can't return it or exchange it so it is better to buy it at Ulta because I believe Ulta has a 60-day return policy so you can return it at Ulta so I would say to purchase it at Ulta instead it is the same price on her website as it is on Ulta so it's not really a big difference it comes in a 0.3 ounce which is the little travel size mist it comes in a one ounce which is the one that I picked up and then it comes in a 1.6 ounce Ounce and a three ounce and then she also has a five ounce refill which is just the bottle to refill the, the perfume bottle that you already have so it comes in those three sizes oh she also offers afterpay as well so if you want to do that on her website you can the one ounce which is the one that I got is $48 the 1.3 ounce is $60 
and the three ounce i believe is 78 dollars so ooh, kylie <laughs> girl mm. I don't know you guys, $80 for a three ounce of perfume and this is your first perfume and you're not a perfume designer is kind of like ick to me. I understand that like you're paying for the brand and you're paying for Kylie and you're paying for like the Kardashian name, you're paying for the experience with them and also the brand but at the same time it's just like girl what am I going to do with the experience and what am I going to do with a brand name? What am I going to do with a brand name? I don't. $80 for a three ounce and this is your first fragrance girl I don't know I don't know you guys let me know in the comments below how do y'all feel about that do y'all think it's justified because of how successful she is and because of who she is or do you think that you know the price she could come down a little bit on that I feel like her three ounce is more than Ariana Grande's perfumes and I feel like Ariana Grande's perfumes not to compare everything to Ari but she is a celebrity that has done fragrance very very well and i feel like her price point she shouldn't be more than ari because ari is a like a real like i don't want to say a real celebrity let me let me back it up ari is a recording artist we know who she is like she is a celebrity like not to say that kylie isn't kylie is a celebrity but kylie is like a reality star celebrity she's not a she's not a like talent celebrity if that's if you know what i'm trying to say there's a difference so paying for a reality star's fragrance and it's more than like a, a a singer's fragrance i don't know i just feel like it's a little bit steep but i digress we can talk about it in the comments below i love kylie's marketing though i must say i love her marketing campaigns everything is so aesthetic so clean so on point Whoever she has leading marketing is very, very good and I, I'm obsessed with them. Okay, so here is the details or the description for the fragrance. It says, Cosmic Kylie Jenner is a sweet, warm, floral, elevated scent that is perfect for day and night. An ambery floral eau de perfume, the scent is magnetic, addictive, and out of this world. The sculptural bottle was designed to look like a piece of art from another world and is formed to fit perfectly in the palm of your hands. Okay, the key notes are um, top notes of star jasmine and blood orange. The middle notes or heart notes are golden amber accord and red peony accord. Ooh, amber and peony? Okay, I, that, that's that got to smell good together. And then the base notes are vanilla musk accord and cedar wood. Hmm. Okay, the only thing I'm scared of is that jasmine, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little bit nervous about the jasmine. If you're new here, I am a gourmand girly, so I tend to stick towards sweet cake cookie-like scents. And florals is probably my least favorite on that list. So hearing that jasmine is a top note is kind of scary for me, but I'm interested to try it out and see what she's giving. Also, I just want to say her description wasn't that great. I guess because I'm used to reading like all of these like Britney Spears perfumes and Ariana Grande perfumes and like Sabrina Carpenter perfumes. I'm used to reading all of these like, I don't know, poetic descriptions that I'm expecting that from her as well. But I do realize like she's not a singer, not a talent celebrity. She's just a reality star celebrity. So she's probably not gonna have all that poetic dialogue like a singer would have. So I totally get that. But I'm not gonna lie, I was just kind of disappointed in the description. I feel like it was short and it was like, okay, well, mm, I really didn't really see like or feel an experience reading it outside of when she said like it is the like the sculpture of the bottle and like it should be addicting and magnetic scent that's out of this world. Then I kind of started imagining like spaceships and stuff like that. I don't know why, but that was pretty much it. So it says the fragrance family is ambery floral, which I love amber, and I'm trying to get into floral, so maybe this will be a little a little boost, a little booster. So let's see. Okay, doll, so that was the description. Let's go ahead and open her up.
Yo, okay, you guys, this is so cute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. First, I was like, okay, I can't tell. Cause from the pictures, you really can't tell. I was like, this could be really cute or really dumb looking and like stupid. But this is really, really cute. I like this, this is very cute. Okay, so the box inside is all this like taupey purple. I love to call this like a raisin color. I have my top matching it. I actually really do love the box for one reason mainly is because on the side, I don't know if you guys can see here, hopefully can, she does list all of the fragrance notes here, which you guys have been hearing me complain about for a while. Like I'm like, I wish fragrance designers would list the like notes on the side of the box so I don't have to look them up. So I'm gonna give her some points on that, y'all. I also like the raised lettering on the box and that it's chrome against the matte purple or taupe color. I just think that's really, really cute and different. Also, when you open the box up, all of the inside is like this matte purple color and you see this pretty chrome lid sticking out. Like it pops and it also matches like the front of the box with the chrome letters. So th th this, is, this is giving, this is definitely giving to me. Also on this side of the bottle, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but there is an indention shape of the actual bottle of the perfume which is just an extra touch like kylie girl i will say her packaging and her marketing y'all be on point like the kylie cosmetics packaging girl i want to buy everything just for the packaging but i actually only like her highlighters and her pressed powders i don't really f with anything else like i never really got into the kylie lip kits i just felt like the colors were more for like not to be like rude but i just feel like the colors were more for like a lighter complexion you know it wasn't for the brown girlies but you guys look at the packaging it's so cute the lid is like this light chrome plummy purple color or taupey purple like the top that i'm wearing but in chrome and it's actually giving pink a little bit like it looks pink and y'all know I live for a pink bottle. I love lids like this that are round like this. And I love that she did a chrome lid. And then the bottle is just so basic. It's plain. It's clear. But then it's also like very artsy. I love this. It does fit in your hand really, really well. Like, okay. The design of the bottle is cute. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all. At first I was looking at it. I was like, okay, this could be cute. Or this could be some like basic bitch like like what are you trying to do this was she did this i really like the design of this the only thing i'm gonna say about this is that i do wish the color of the actual perfume was like the purple color i feel like that would have been cool or make it a different color like maybe make it like gold you know how sometimes you see skincare with like the gold flakes in it like put some gold flakes or something in the actual liquid like i don't know i just felt like it's it's it could the liquid could have been purple is what i'm saying and right now it's just like a clear color but other than that this is giving so let's take off the lid and of course the spray cap is the matching chrome purple really really cute i love this i think this is so cute yeah i would say this definitely fits in with their brand like the modern clean aesthetic but also very feminine with the round lid i just think that's really really cute now is it the prettiest bottle that i've ever seen no it's not the prettiest bottle but i will say it's one of the coolest bottles that i've ever seen i just think it's so to mess around with the shape of this of the glass like most people with their bottles they kind of mess around with the lid or mess around with the base but to just like deconstruct the glass like that and make it do y'all see that? I don't know. I just feel like this is giving luxe. This is giving rich. This is giving elevated. And I don't know if it's just because when I think about the Kardashians, I think of like luxe, rich elevation, but it's just very modern looking, like perfect for the modern woman. Packaging, I'm actually going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. I think that the packaging is gorgeous. It's super cute. Obviously, if the liquid was colored, then it would be so much better. But I love the packaging. I love how it fits in your hand. I love how abstract it looks. I don't know if I have ever seen any other fragrance do a bottle like this like a shape like this and you guys can correct me if i'm wrong let me know in the comments below have you guys seen any other fragrances like any other fragrance designers design a bottle like this like the base of the bottle not the lid but like how the glass is like 
sculpt it like that. I don't think I ever have. I'm gonna have to give her points for that. I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna give her an eight out of 10 for this bottle because I really think that whoever she got to design this bottle really thought this through very, very well. Like, this is a nice bottle and they still, even though it's very abstract and modern and minimalistic, they still added a touch of glam and a touch of feminine energy with this lid. So I just love that they combined the two. It's kind of like a masculine sculptural shape at the bottom, but a very feminine energy at the top. Like it's giving everything. It's giving powerful woman and I love that. So yeah, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for a packaging, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and try try this out i'm gonna spray it in the air first and get a cold sniff and to just see how it smells right off the bat and then we're gonna spray it on my skin and i'm gonna let it mix with my natural oils so we can see what that smells like also keep in mind you guys everyone's scent palette is different everyone body chemistry is different so what smells like something on you may not smell like something on me and vice versa so just keep that in mind i highly suggest you guys go and try out the fragrances for yourself because i'm not going to be arguing with nobody in the comments about what i smell on my skin okay so if you don't smell it you don't smell it if you don't like it you don't like it if you like it you like it but i'm gonna give you my opinion about me okay i ain't arguing with nobody in these comments anymore so stop it i love y'all okay so anyways I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna let y'all know what I feel about the spray cap because that might take the packaging down a little bit but right now we're gonna keep packaging at an eight. Let's go ahead and spray. Ooh, okay, I like that little spritz. It's not a soft. <gasps> Kylie. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, all right, all right. Wow. Oh my working God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me collect myself. Cause honestly, I have no words. I have one way to express the smell in the air. She did that. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a fan of the Kardashians. Y'all know, I will give you an honest review. Like, I love Ariana Grande, and I told y'all, God did this woman with some BS. I'm sorry, that fragrance was BS. This smells so good. I smell, okay, first off the bat, I smell the amber. I smell the vanilla musk. I do smell fruity notes of, like, blood orange and, like, star fruit. I don't think they mentioned star fruit, but I smell like star fruit. I don't know why, but I smell star fruit. I also smell that lovely, beautiful, gorgeous red peony note. And I'm I'm not gonna believe, I cannot believe I'm gonna say this, but I actually like the jasmine. The jasmine is coming off as like a very sweet, warm jasmine. Most times when I smell jasmine, it comes off like as this like harsh powdery note. But this is like more of like a sweet jasmine. Like, this is giving floral gourmand. Definitely, definitely spot on ambery floral is the fragrance family. So spot on with ambery floral. You definitely smell all of those floral notes, the peony and the jasmine mixed together. That peony is already so sweet and rich. And then you add that jasmine on top of it. And like I said, I'm not a jasmine girly, but I love it in this fragrance. And then that warm vanilla musk at the bottom. Girl, I'm heating up. I need a fan. I, ooh, I need a fan. Hold on. Kylie. Kylie, girl. What? I'm shook, you guys. I'm shook because I'm not going to lie to y'all. I thought this was a bunch of hype. I thought this was BS. I thought we were just going crazy because Kylie released something new. I didn't really know that the fragrance was going to actually be this good. Like, I am so shocked. And maybe it smells super good to me because I had a low expectation of it to start. But I just really didn't expect this from her. I really thought that she was going to flop this one. I really did. And I was expecting to have to return it. Like, I kept the box, y'all. I kept the return slip because I said, girl, this is going back $50 for a one ounce perfume from a reality star who what is she talking about like she she ain't never made perfume before <sighs> oh you guys oh my god this is giving grown sexy woman this is giving grown sexy boss woman like grown sexy boss bitch is what it's giving 
but it's also something very elegant about it. You could also know if you watch my vlog, I mentioned recently that my brother's getting married and I was looking for a fragrance for my brother's wedding. And you know what? This might be her. Oh my God, this is so good. This just reminds me of like, I don't even know. This is giving upscale event. I feel like I'm in one of those fragrance commercials walking with like a, a dress, like an abstract dress, like cut out with my, my side arm, kind of like a long maxi dress with a train, um, an abstract shaped long maxi dress, walking through like all of this abstract structural buildings and like with flowers on the outside of it. Like that's what I feel like. The potency, is really really high on this initially when I sprayed in the air it really did fill the room like I could smell it so strongly but then it did start to go down really quickly but it didn't disappear it went down into this warm rich ambery vanilla musk note started out very vibrant with a burst of sweet floral and amber and then it just kind of came down very slowly into like this rich a warm vanilla musk so I would say starts out boom flowers in your face then it hits you boom blood orange red and I smell star fruit I know it's not in the fragrance notes I do smell the blood orange but I also smell star fruit also by the way that blood orange is not like a uh, citrusy blood orange it's more of like a sweet blood orange you know i know blood oranges are sweet anyway but this is like super sweet orange note it doesn't have that tartness in it that most citrusy scents have it's definitely more on the sweeter side if that makes any sense i personally would classify this as a floral gourmand a fruity floral gourmand that's what i would classify it as but because it is such a strong, warm, vanilla, ambery note in there, I think she hit it right on the head. I think she hit the nail right on the head with ambery floral because those are the two strongest things that you smell in this fragrance. I am freaking obsessed. I'm shook because I really, ex Kylie, girl, I, I'm sorry, I love you, but I expect you to flop and you're not flopping. Like you're flying and I'm confused. This is just a whole new world for me. I feel like a princess when I smell this fragrance, like a modern minimalistic princess is how I feel. Yes, she's giving it to me. So for the cold sniff in the air, I am going to give this, y'all ain't gonna believe this. On the cold sniff, I'm gonna give it a nine uh, out of 10. I had that burst of floral and then it went down into the vanilla base, but it did it quite quickly, so it was like, your brain was trying to catch up to it. Like, what am I smelling? Oh, 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 it was like hitting you. It was a very nice surprise, but it happened so quickly. I wish the notes would have transitioned a little bit slower just so I could really enjoy each one because I felt like it went so quickly. I wanted to spray it again, but I guess that is that that's that's how you get them you want them, you want them to keep spraying it so i get it but i just felt like i wish the notes would have transitioned a little bit slower but the transition was a good transition it was just really really fast if that makes any sense so nine out of ten on the cold sniff let's go ahead and spray it on our skin girl oh never smelled an amber scent like this like and I have a lot of amber fragrances I think I'm an amber girly I think I need to get more amber fragrances oh my god y'all I don't believe I'm saying this but I love this I smell the cedar wood so much more on my skin than I did in the air but I smell that jasmine it still kind of smells the same in the air as it does on my skin which I love a little bit more potent on my skin, obviously, because my skin are hanging on to those notes and the air is not gonna hang on to anything. It's gonna kind of dissipate after a while. Okay, I don't know if it's an oil-based fragrance just because I don't see an oil sheen after spraying it on my skin. You guys know I love an oil-based fragrance because they tend to last a little bit longer. I don't see that on my skin right now. But in terms of longevity, we will chat about that in the comments below. This fragrance is like, 
the perfect spring fragrance it's a sexy scent though you could wear it in the daytime or at night but i still say it's very very sexy and boss lady like you definitely get a strong jasmine a strong amber note a strong vanilla musk i definitely get the cedarwood like i said a lot more on my skin the blood orange is not as strong on my skin as it was in the air but i still smell it quite potently it's really really nice it's a very potent fragrance in my opinion to be an amber scent because most amber scents are really soft and they tend to fade out after a while this is really strong amber scent wow i <sighs> i'm just so shocked because i look if y'all go into my office i have the box with the return slip ready to go and the tape sitting nearby because i said i'm gonna be returning this tomorrow after i'm done doing a review because i know she gonna flop she there's no way it's her first fragrance like what and then i read the fragrance notes but i was like i don't think she's gonna get some of those notes right like not for her first fragrance no way kylie shocked me i'm shocked i really do love this okay i have to be honest with y'all on my skin i'm gonna give it i want to say it's like the same like a nine out of ten for this to be a floral fragrance, I would give it a 10 out of 10. And I'm not even a floral girly. But this is probably one of the best floral fragrances I own. Because the way she did the floral is like a soft, sweet floral. It's, it blends so seamlessly in with the amber and the vanilla and the blood orange and the cedar wood and all of those other notes that you it really doesn't stick out to you. Most often when I smell a floral fragrance, I smell the floral so strongly and I'm like, oh, that floral is a little bit strongly. It's not like that. Like it blends so seamlessly with these other notes that it's like, it's almost like she transformed the floral notes with the amber and the vanilla. I don't know how she did that. For it to be a floral fragrance, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. But because I am a gourmand girly, I'm gonna give it a 9.8 out of 10. So let's talk about potency levels. I feel like it went down quite a little bit from being in the air, but on my skin, it's pretty potent. It's a really high potency level. Um, in the amber and vanilla scent and that jasmine note. So for potency level dolls, I think this one is going to get a 7.6 out of 10. I definitely have more fragrances that are more potent than this, but this one is very high in potency level. I feel like it's the perfect amount of potency. I tend to lean towards more potent scents. I like a higher, stronger scent. Um, but for those of you who just like a normal scent, like perfect, right in the middle, not too strong, not too weak, I think she's pretty perfect. She's a little bit on the stronger side, but she's not too strong. So I absolutely love this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a 7.6 out of 10 for potency level. Okay, so for a price point, let's talk about it, okay? $48 for a one ounce, baby. And then $80 for a three ounce baby i feel like the three ounce is a pretty expensive however judging by the fragrance notes in this and i'll let you guys know on longevity because it's hard to judge pricing without including longevity in there but i would say i don't know if i would spend 80 dollars on the three ounce but i would probably spend the 50 dollars on a one ounce I don't know if that makes sense like I because I don't see myself wearing this perfume every day it's an upscale fragrance I feel like it's more for like a special event this is not something that I'm gonna be wearing day to day this is definitely something like I said I might wear to my brother's wedding or something like that I would give the price point a 4.5 out of 10 and the only reason why it's getting like a 4.5 is I feel like it's kind of an opinionated thing right like this is your first fragrance for a one ounce i would probably spend the 50 dollars for a one ounce that to me is fine but for a three ounce to be 80 dollars i just personally wouldn't spend that much money on it i don't think i would wear this fragrance enough to need a three ounce and i just feel like 80 dollars for a three ounce would be too much for me but for you guys if you love it and you love florals and you feel like you're gonna have somewhere to wear this to a lot it might be worth it for you so i'd probably continue to buy the one ounce for fifty dollars 
And this is without knowing what the longevity is like. That might change if the longevity isn't there and, and it starts to wear off a little bit sooner. Okay doll, so let's go ahead and talk about the fragrance notes. I've smelt every single fragrance note distinctively and harmoniously. And it is very, very hard for fragrances to do that. Most often certain notes pop out more than others. Um, and a lot of times they don't all marry well together. So it's really, really, really difficult what they did with this fragrance to get it all to smell married together like that. But also you could smell the cedar wood distinctively. It's something very, very like addicting about it. I love that. I love how soft it is now. It dissipated a little bit and it's soft, like a soft, warm, vanilla-y musk. So for fragrance notes, I smelt every single note and like none of the notes overpowered each other. Do you know how hard that is to do to make every single note in a fragrance the star, but none of them outshine each other? That is so hard. This was very, very well done. And I'm just shocked. Like, I don't know what to say. Like I'm at a loss for words, you guys. I'm just shocked. Considering the other factors that I discussed with you guys in terms of the way that it transitioned in the air and considering like the price point for it and how often I would wear it and what events I would wear it to and what the story that the fragrance is telling, I think that it's an 8.7 and that's just my personal opinion. Girl, you can comment below and let me know if you tried out this fragrance, if you have a different opinion, what's your rating for it? I would be interested to know you guys' opinions on it. I don't know if it's because I had a low expectation of the fragrance is why it's so impressive to me right now or if it's actually a really good fragrance. You know what I mean? Because my expectations for it were so low. I'm just so shook. Like she blew me out of the water with this one. Like I really wasn't expecting this. I really do like it. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna give it overall an 8.7 out of 10. Okay dolls, that was it. That was my review of Kylie's Cosmic. I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. Please do let me know in the comments below if you tried out this perfume or if you are thinking about trying out this perfume. If you did, let me know what you liked about it or what you did not like about it. Also, don't forget to leave your video suggestions in the comments below. I already have a few perfumes on my list that I'm on the hunt for for you guys to review so not to worry I do write them all down it might take me a while to get around to them depending on the, the access that I have to the fragrance but I do keep a list and I do try to review the fragrances that you dolls suggest I love you dolls don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye bye dolls and I would love it if the garbage truck could just stop making that loud ass sound, but it's not gonna happen, is it? No, it's gonna keep going. So it just started out very, very bright, vibrant. <laughs> it's obviously if the liquid was perfect, purple, what? Oh my God, no, that cannot happen. So for the fragrance notes of, blah, 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 let me get this straight. So, oh, wow. Oh, why is there two garbage trucks? I don't understand. Like, didn't you already pick up the trash?